Hey, supply chain groupies. Today's supply chain concept is brought to you by the supply chain doctor and host of Supply Chain is Boring. Carrying cost is the cost of holding inventory, usually defined as a percentage of the dollar value of inventory per unit of time. Carrying cost depends mainly on the cost of capital invested, as well as cost of maintaining the inventory, such as taxes and insurance, obsolescence, spoilage, and storage space. Carrying costs can range from 10 to 45% annually, depending on the industry. You may also hear this referred to as holding cost or the cost of holding inventory for your use or opportunity cost, which is the basically, you don't have the opportunity to invest the money that's in tied up in stocks and inventory for other initiatives. Carrying cost is a re very real cost to an organization and answers the question, when does $1 not equal $1? Let's say you buy inventory for $100. Your financial people might view this as $135 because they know they will be on the hook for capital costs, uh, which is basically the cost of taking out loans or the interest rate on money if, if you're borrowing, the storage and handling costs, which is associated to your warehousing operations, keeping products safe and accessible. And then there's risk costs, which are things like uh, perishable products, spoilage, uh, theft or pilferage, and then if your product tends to uh, go out of style, out of fashion, and you can no longer sell it. Some schools of thought also include insurance and inventory taxes, but that's done more on a case-by-case -case basis. But typically, as I had mentioned earlier, it, carrying costs can be anywhere from 35 to 40 percent, and that's a cost to you just to have that inventory available. It's also important to, to understand carrying costs is a recurring cost that happens over time, so you're paying for it every every day you have inventory on hand. And it's typically calculated on an annual percentage, so that that uh, 35 to 40% was looked at annually. Uh, so in this case here, you can see why companies are so anxious to reduce inventory. Not only when they make the initial reduction, they may be able to sell it um, or get money back. Uh, that's a one-time savings. And then over time, you can see the carrying cost reduction uh, they won't have to pay for that additional carrying cost over time. So that's where you see that, that recurring savings if you go through an inventory reduction pr plan. And speaking of thought leaders, be sure to check out the next episode of Supply Chain is Boring. I think it's coming out uh, April, April 2nd, where we're going to interview Dr. Doug Lambert, who was instrumental in standardizing and defining the way we think about carrying cost today. I look forward to hearing you on the internet and try not to get carried away.